Hey y'all, welcome to Black Women Do Science. This is a YouTube channel I do with my son and we do all the fun science experiments that you can think of. Today we have a really cool eruption science experiment for you. Don't worry, you should have all of these ingredients. So let's go try it. All right, y'all, let's get those ingredients out for our science experiment today. So a really important ingredient that you'll need today are these things, Kool-Aid packets. Who love Kool-Aid? I love Kool-Aid so much. So part of this experiment is you can use as many different flavors, try to get different colors as much as possible, and that will make it a lot more fun for your kids. You will also need baking soda, and then you will need a tray or maybe you can use a bowl, whichever uh, that you have available. And then you'll need water. So once we have all of our ingredients, Dax and I sat down for this experiment. So I gave Dax a little bit more freedom after I showed him what to do. So what you'll do is you will put down some baking soda first, and then you are going to mix in your packet of Kool-Aid in there. So just kind of mix it. You can let them mix it with their hands, let them touch it and feel it, all of that. And then once it's all mixed up, so this is the important part and why you need to choose different colors, because what we're gonna do next, you're going to see these colors come alive. So once your baking soda and your Kool-Aid is all mixed up in different sections, then you will use your water. So we used a turkey baster, but you can use an eyedropper, you can even use a squeeze bottle, or you can just pour it on there, depending on how old your kids are and if you think they have enough control to do it by themselves. So we used the turkey baster and we squirted water on top of our mixture. Did you see what happened? So all of it started fizzing, right? I know, I had no idea that baking soda, water, and Kool-Aid packets can make a reaction, but we'll get into why that happens next. Hey y'all, if this is your first time with Black Mama Street Science, we are so excited that you're here and we hope you're having fun trying some science experiments with your kids. Make sure that you like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with another mama and hopefully that we'll get all the mamas around the world doing science experiments with their kids. All right, y'all, let's get into the science behind our experiment today. So I bet you didn't know all the ingredients that's in Kool-Aid. I mean, we just mixed it up, added sugar and drank it. We I didn't look at the ingredients. But the first ingredient here is citric acid on the back, if you ever want to check that out. So this experiment has a lot to do with chemistry, which is why we see this really cool reaction. So the baking soda and the Kool-Aid doesn't do anything when it's by itself, right? No, we added something to that, which is our water to get our reaction. So I don't know if you've seen previous experiments, but in previous experiments, we've used baking soda and vinegar and baking soda and vinegar creates a lot of eruptions that we can use. But this, you don't have to use that smelly vinegar. So you can just use Kool-Aid because the citric acid mixed with our base, which would be our baking soda. And then the water added to it creates a chemical reaction, which makes everything start to fizz, like vinegar and baking soda would. So this is a really cool alternative that you can use. Um, I think it, if it spills, it probably smells a lot nicer than vinegar does. And it's colorful, you don't have, even have to add food coloring. So Dax loved it once he saw that it can do all of these eruptions. I mean, we had Kool-Aid everywhere, but it was so much fun and he learned a lot and he had a lot more control over the turkey baster. So 
this definitely gets two thumbs up from us. And so we hope you had so much fun during this science experiment and we hope we see you next time. Bye y'all.